Let's go ahead and get started here. Nick, there's a little guy in the audience, so watch the language, okay? Just throwing that out there. Heather, 1337. Dana Snyder. Jane Saxton. One lady. And Jennifer Ann. Yeah, Oh, and that's just over their heads. And I'm the master of the boots board, Nick Roche. Hey, Whoa, Nick Roche! Hey, oh. How's everybody Boucher doing? Today? and Roche. <laughs> okay, quiet theme music. How's everybody doing today out there? Okay, great. Uh, this is good. Listen, let's get this party started. Yeah, okay. Let's get a little just, enthusiasm out here. I just want to welcome you all. Here. Just want to welcome you all here to, all, to the Animate Miami <laughs> premiere of All Star Blitz. Uh, hello, stars. How y'all doing? Hello, Good. stars. <laughs> uh, I've, actually, I've got uh, three newbies here to this game and one veteran. Jade, Jade, I actually had a chance to play this with the, with my buddy uh, Greg uh, Wicker, aka Grego, last weekend. So uh, all it takes one time. But uh, hopefully, I, hopefully, I have fun with this regardless. Once again, let's uh, let me introduce our panel. Starting off with my left here, we have cosplay model and artist Heather One Three Three Seven. Let's hear. Wow. Heather, of course, is also one of. Uh, also, can be. Uh, you can check her out online at, on Facebook. Just search for Heather One Three Three Seven. Or on but, Google, she's on Google. Yep. You, you don't can Google to go to her, Google. Heather. Uh, Glad to have you here, Heather. <laughs> Next to her is my my buddy, who, uh, who's the voice, of course, of Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Mr. Dana Snyder. Hello. Dana, good to have you here again, buddy. I'm actually uh, Nick's roommate. I have not paid rent in over four months, and I'm very happy about it. I well, feel like I'm, I'm waking out on this deal. I'm, I'm being kind of lenient until the residual You are, connect. and I pile up <laughs> those effing dishes. Just okay. let me tell you. there I leave dirty <laughs> dishes everywhere. Yeah. But this guy, I'm like, hey, man. Put me on the thing with the chicks. He's like, uh, I don't know. You haven't paid that rent yet. And I'm like, I'm paying the rent. I told you I'm going to pay the rent, but just put me on the thing first, and then I'll pay the rent. He goes, you pay the rent, and then I'll put you on the thing. Been going back and forth now, but look who won. Alrighty. Five months unpaid rent, everybody. Woo! And I'm sorry we have no more time for the game. No, ser seriously. Uh, ne next to her, of course, uh, from Michiko and Hotchin, the voice of Hotchin herself, Jade Saxton. Jade, like I said, you're the uh, veteran here, so you, you've got a little idea of what's go going on, I a hope. A little. Okay. Very well, hope, like I said, you should have a lot of fun here. Yeah. And joining us for the, for the first time for one of my games here, uh, another uh, lovely cosplay model and artist, Jennifer Ann. Yeah, no! Hello. And you can also check her out on Facebook. Do a search for official Jennifer Ann to check out, uh, keep up with uh, her cosplay stuff. Okay, so, uh, well, we've met our star, so uh, let's, actually, I'm going to need two contestants who would like to give our g game a play. It's, very, it's simple trivia. If we take two contestants, okay, we're going to take away up. over 10% of come the audience up. for and, this thing. And uh, how about the gentleman there in the beard? Come on up. Uh, sorry, Sana. Here. Donna, okay. Sana. Oh, I'm sorry? S-A-N-A. Sana. Sana, okay. And are you from Sweden? Sana. Okay. Nah. Oh, you're from here? Okay. Where are you from? Okay, so we have Sana. Oh, very So nice. we have Sana and Eddie here as our contestants. Sana, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? No, Sana, Sana, could you tell, tell us a little about yourself? Okay, long time con goer, anime freak, literally, <laughs> and hoping to be a really good artist. Okay, well, good luck to you. Wonderful. And uh, Eddie, what should we know about you, sir? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm in a band called The Sever. I also sell beer for a living. Yes, a great I, uh, I, I think Dana, I'll hook, I'll hook you up with him in a minute. <laughs> okay, well, good luck to both of you here. Uh, well, the, the que well, the questions, yeah, the questions will be, uh, re will be mul like I said, there'll be multiple choice trivia about the subjects we cover here at Animate Miami, okay? And you can choose if you agree with our answer. He's going to ask a question like, you know, yes. what, what, uh, what's Snoopy's buddy's name? A, Scooby Brown, B, Lewis Brown, C, Charlie Brown. Exactly. We so. make an answer. You decide if you agree with us or you don't agree with us. Right. If we have the, if I say, oh, obviously his owner's name is Lewis Brown, and you say, I disagree <laughs> with the celebrity, quote unquote celebrity, uh -huh. and you're correct, then you get the star. Exactly. So the goal is to pick 
The goal is to pick stars around each of the, to win a box. Yes. By getting like these four stars around that will then reveal the word clue, which is then make some other weird thing. And then we all just sit here for a little while and talk Mm -hmm. about stuff. (laughs) Very clear. All right. Round one. Let's go. Okay. I think this is a next time I'm having you host this. Okay. Okay. So like I said, um, we're going to go and get started with our first puzzle here. And we're going to start you off with four free stars on the board here. Oh, four free stars. It's a little bit of feedback, Frank. Okay, and like I said, Santa, you have control, so uh, go ahead and pick no a celebrity and pick one of their unlit stars, and let's begin. Okay. <laughs> Can you see the board from here? Or? Pick a song. Board? I yes. can't read it. Like, the bottom, I can't read the letters in the bottom. Uh, basically, but, it's just us. But it's yeah, one of us. Yeah, yeah. I, fi- I figured, I figured. So, I'll choose Jade. Mr. Oh. Okay, That's Jane, me. would you like your yes. top star or bottom star? I like her star? ribbon. Okay, Thanks. would you like your top star or bottom star? You want me on top or the bottom? <laughs> hey oh, anything can happen at the Miami Anime Supercon Supercon. The bottom Miami. star? Bottom? Y'all are okay. dirty. I'm talking about the- okay, Jade. Yeah. Once again, thanks for joining us here. Once again, like, all these questions will be multiple choice, so hopefully, hopefully you'll have a one at least a one in three shot at, at get it, getting it right here. Here we go, Jade. Here's your question. Miyazaki, Toriyama, or Tezuka? Which of these anime creators is considered the father of anime and manga? Miyazaki, Toriyama, or Tezuka? Miyazaki. She's Miyazaki. Do you agree or disagree? I think I agree. Uh, unfortunately, you're wrong. It's actually Tezuka is considered the father of anime and manga. I tricked you. So okay, so uh, I tricked you. That's so what uh, you control get for passes to uh, Eddie, and Eddie, you get to make a choice. Pick a. Pick a celebrity his and name is Toyota Honda, celebrity the and a creator star. of uh, anime originally. I'm going to go with Dana on top. Bold Dana. choice. Ooh, Dana. double Dana. bold. Okay. <laughs> You'll be regretting that later. Hey, Dana. I'm a very uh, generous lover, though. Don't worry. <laughs> well, let's generous. see if you're a knowledgeable lover here as well. Yeah, Dana. Oh, obviously. Never had sex before, but <laughs> hoping to this year. This is the year it's going to happen. Let's <laughs> okay. talk about it. Good enough. Dana, which of the Sailor Scouts had a talking white cat named Artemis? Was it Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Mars, or Sailor Venus? Samuel Adams. <laughs> Great patriot, inventor of the beer, he invented beer, and he was the cat. I'll say uh, C, Ju- Pegasus. Well, Jupiter, Mars, or Venus? Jupiter. He says Jupiter. Remember, uh, like, Jupy's like, hey, Jupy, get, get the cat in the box, and let's go down to that he thing. He says Sailor Jupiter do. had a white cat named Artemis. We've got to sail to that place with the cat, Jupiter. I, I, I hate to disagree, but yeah, I disagree Yeah, that's correct. It was Sailor Venus who had it. So, uh, okay. Excuse me, in the original right. series, Good enough. Okay. it was named Jupiter, and they thought that was too controversial, so they changed it, and then they put okay, it Eddie, back to Okay, Eddie, it's still your turn. Pick, pick, a star, pick a celebrity and a star. Remember, you're trying to get all four corners of the box to be able to reveal it. Uh, Heather Middle. Heather in the center, okay? Center, yeah. Heather, uh, welcome here. Here, here. This one's for you. Um, oh, boy. Oh, oh, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one. Which of these music, which of these '70s musical acts became a cartoon set in 2200 A.D.? Was it the Monkees, the Jackson Five, or the Partridge Family? The Partridge Family. She says the Partridge Family. Eddie. D- disagree. No, believe it or not, she's right. It was really? the Partridge Family in 2020. How dare you? Believe it or not, she's right. Believe it or not, yeah. not, right. it or not she got but this one right. I, I thought the Jetsons. <laughs> Very rude, Nick. And, an, and another I'm little fact: it, originally, the series was supposed to be a Jetsons update with a teenage Elroy and an adult Judy. Go figure. Okay, Sasana, we're back to you. Go ahead and pick a celebrity and a star. Jennifer in thir- middle. Jennifer in the middle. Okay. Right in the middle. Oops, wait. Um, all right, let's do this. There we go. Jennifer in the middle, okay. Jennifer, for, here, here we go for you. Uh, P.S. Real quick, that was the uh, initial pilot episode of Malcolm in the Middle when she was still a girl, Jennifer in the Middle. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't work out. The girl was kind of weird, so they switched it to, how about if it's just a boy instead, we'll change the name to Malcolm. The rest is her story. <laughs> Thank you, Dana. Okay, <laughs> Jennifer. Which of these Disney characters is one of the three figures included in the starter pack for the Disney Infinity game? Mm. Is it Mike Wazowski, Elastigirl, or Captain Jack Sparrow? What I know. Mike. 
Mike Wazowski? The green guy. Okay. Jesus. I disagree. That's, it was actually Jack Sparrow. It's good, for, good for you. The other two are, are actually uh, Sully from Monsters, Inc. and Mr. Incredible. Okay, so... Uh, You're pretty tricky, Nick. That was like a trick question. Long live Jack Sparrow. <laughs> okay, son, it's still your turn. Go ahead and pick a, pick a celebrity and a, and a star. Dana for the middle star. Okay, Dana. Yeah! <laughs> Getting some excitement up in here. This I is love your enthusiasm. Of okay, now, for... now let, me, let me tell you, this, this has a possibility of activating one of two, two boxes here, either, either uh, the top left or the bottom center. Which one do you want to go for? I think I'm going to choose the bottom center. Bottom center, okay. A very bold choice for a very bold woman. Okay. I like it. I like the way you work. Dana, here's your question. And once again, we're, t we're actually touching on uh, video games. Pegasus. Which brand? <laughs> I can answer first. I, can I answer before the question is? Because I have a little bit of psychic ability and I don't mind showing this off right now. Please say no. Pegasus. Pegasus. Uh, Sauna. It must be very little because it has nothing to do with it. Here. Which uh, brand? Which I beg branch? to differ, but OK. <laughs> Hey, Dana, which branch of the U.S. military has spent over two-thirds of a million dollars on PlayStation 3s since 2001? Is it the I know Army? What, I know what's going on here. Is, See, I had the answer, and it was, what's the horse called with wings? And I said Pegasus, and then he just switched the question because he, <laughs> he didn't want anyone to know that I have strong psychic abilities. <laughs> I'm going to say the U.S. Army. He says the U.S. Army. Uh, Sena? Or Sana? Says the army spent two thirds of a million dollars on PlayStation Three since two thousand one. Tell her the three questions, the three multiple <laughs> choice. I'm sure the U.S. Army's one of them because it's correct. I disagree. And it's good because it's actually the Air Force who spent the money. How so, dare you? <laughs> okay, Sasana. So wait. That gives what? you seriously. Seriously, Air, whether oh it's for God. entertainment or training purposes, we're not sure. Okay, so Sasana, you get the first clue on the board. We'll reveal it right now. Once again, the puzzle, the puzzle has something to do with either, uh, car, of course, cartoons, anime, manga, vi or video games. And it could be anywhere from See. six letters long to 150 letters long. <laughs> do, do you want to? Could be a whole paragraph or maybe just a phrase. Now, we'll never want, know until you, you want, guess it right now. Do you want to take a guess or would you like another question to try and reveal another box? I would like another question. Okay. Now, like I have I said, no so, idea what that means. Well, actually, since, we, <laughs> since, since you've, uh, we've already got the top box there for Dana as well, we're going to go with him again. With, uh, to, with this question. All right. Dana, let's, Lucky te us. let's test your vocabulary. I want to just say real quick, I feel a strong connection with you. I feel like we got a little something going here. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Okay, let's test your vocabulary. I sent her a psychic message. What part of speech does the word Japanimation it. represent? Is it an oxymoron, a portmanteau, or a palindrome? What was the middle one? Portmanteau. Portmanteau. What is that? Dirty. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's a what I'm guy with a big toe who works on the docks. <laughs> uh, brings the ships in. I'm going to say it, uh, oxymoron, he says port, portmanteau, and what was the last or one? Or palindrome. Palindrome. Well, that's not a palindrome. And it ain't uh, oxymoron, because I know lots about English stuffs. It's number B. So a portmanteau. So portmanteau. Okay. okay, he says Japanimation is a portmanteau. But I'm mean, going to tell you this right now, I'm 100% sure this is correct. And right. I'm not screwing around with you, because I want him to burn. I want him to lose like no one's lost a game before. <laughs> he's, been okay, throwing a lot of, he's been throwing a lot of ugly looks over here. He's been ogling the girls, taking pictures, twittering. <laughs> you, need to, you need to rise like a phoenix out of this game, which is <laughs> only going to go on for about two and a half more hours, so don't worry. <laughs> Okay, well, he said, uh, getting back to the question, he said Japanimation is a portmanteau. Do you agree or disagree? Agree. Disagree. Uh, I agree. <laughs> My name is Sauna, and I agree with Dana Snyder, the most handsome guy in the universe. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know the answer to this, so I guess I'll just agree. <laughs> you, uh, you agree? What? Well, believe it or not, you're right. It is what do you mean? Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. Everyone Port portmanteau believes. means as a combination word, Japan and animation. Japan animation. Okay, so you get another clue up on the board here. Let's reveal it. And, and believe it or not, and uh, quite, quite possibly accurately, you've got an ass on the board. 
Okay, I, I can solve it? If you'd like to take a guess and, and try and solve it for the first game of the match. The whole thing? The whole thing. Or, or if, if you think you can solve it now, if not, uh, you, can, you can ask for another I think question. I can solve it now. Okay. Assassin's Creed? Is it Assassin's Creed? It is! Woo! All right, oh, congratulations. We have an assassin in the house! We have an assassin in the house! Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. Uh, I, actually, uh, actually you, the Runway Fashion Rupert's Show was the la- was an hour ago. Sorry about is that. Is there buddy. any uh, music for this? Okay, so Sandy, you've won the first game of the match, but it takes two games to win. So we'll move on to our next puzzle here. Well, uh, uh, Eddie, you're going to start us off here, and let's, let, me re- let me give you the four free stars we for the puzzle. We need to do the fashion show with that. Rupert's going to the... Okay, and after that little musical interlude, uh, Eddie, where would you like to start us off this time? Uh, Dana in the middle. Dana in the middle, okay. A man who knows what he likes and likes what he knows. Okay, Dana. Fine choice. (laughs) Once again, here we go. (laughs) Once again. (laughs) Duo, trio, or quartet. What is the first name of Gundam Death Sight pilot Maxwell? Pegasus. Duo, trio, or quartet? Duo, trio, or quartet. The first name of Gundam Death Sight title, Maxwell. Well, I just finished watching this last night. Ah, good. The whole thing on my iPad. (laughs) Uh, iPad Air, by the way, the newest model. Got it for free from doing a show. Uh, Luxury, I live in a mansion. Um, With Nick, that I don't pay rent on. I forgot about the first part where I... (laughs) Booch off uh, the palace we live in. <laughs> Miami Beach, we live in uh, Gianni Versace's old place. Was, we have not cleaned the bloodstains off from the guy that killed him, but <laughs> too soon. Uh, but it's a wonderful place, it's very low rent. It's about $30 <laughs> a month. I still don't pay. I owe him six months back rent, I don't care, because we're best buddies. Well, I'm trying to be lenient. Like I will say, uh, yeah, you're, bit, you're a very generous landlord. Yeah, apparently. I, I'm letting you yeah. go on, and, on like this, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say uh, answer B, whatever the duo, which one was B? It's duo, trio, trio or quartet, if you remember the question. Let's go quartet. Okay, he says uh, quartet Maxwell is the Gundam Death Sight pilot. Uh, Absolutely. Eddie, do you agree or disagree? There he goes, Throwing ogling the girls again. Wait She's a minute. Look at, you see how he did that? Uh, disagree. Disagree. Good. It's actually Duo Maxwell. Oh, duo oh, Maxwell, no. okay? So, so you, get, you still have control of the board, and, and go ahead and pick another uh, st- spot. Is it Jade? <laughs> middle? Okay. Jade in the middle, okay. Mm-hmm. Oops, wait a second here. Uh, just making sure I'm hitting the right buttons. Not here. the yes. first time that phrase has been said as a con. <laughs> just for the record, Jade and, in the middle. Hey oh! And, and this will be for the bottom center box of the clue, okay? okay? Just kidding around. Yeah. Jade? Uh-huh. Here we go. Yeah. Let's see how well you know your friends. Which former uh-huh. Friends actor voices the character of Benny in the game Fallout New Vegas? Is it Mott LeBlanc, David Schwimmer, or Matthew Perry? David Schwimmer. She says David Schwimmer. Voices Perry in Fallout New Vegas. Agree? No, actually, it's Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. Oh. Uh, I tricked you. Boo. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Right, so, uh, so we'll go, go on to go back to Santa, and this will still be for that for that same clue box. And so we'll go back to uh, go back to Jade with another question here. Jade. Uh-huh. In the Orange Island season of Pokemon, Brock is in Pallet Town with which of these professors? Professor Oak, Professor Ivy, or Professor Plum? Remember, Professor Ivy. He says Professor Ivy. I agree. And that is correct. Okay. We'll reveal this clue for you here. We are proud Poke Nerds. <laughs> okay. There's your, there's your first clue on the puzzle. Would you like to try and take a guess, or you want another question? Another question. Okay. Select a star. Heather at the Bottom. Heather at the bottom. Okay. He's got another letter here. Yes. All right. Let's see. Yes, and that will that will be for the fourth box here. Okay, Heather. Here we go. It's for you. Uh, another video game question. In Bioshock 2, the main character controls a a big daddy diving suit named what? Subject Alpha, subject Hey-o. Delta, or subject Omega? Subject Omega. I'm sorry. Subject Omega. 
Subject Omega. P.S. This is a very sore subject for Eddie <laughs> over here. He's got his eyes squeezed. He's, he's holding in something. I just Don't grab the mic from we, her. It's her turn. How dare you? <laughs> or you'll be back at that Amish village making those fireplaces for okay. people before you know it. Okay. Seriously. He, he said, she says the Big Daddy diving suit is Subject Omega. Do you agree or disagree? This sucks because my brother plays this game. Uh, I guess I agree. No, actually, it was Subject Delta. Subject Delta, okay? So, Eddie, we go back to you, uh, and once again, it's going to be uh, for the box. So, Heather, this is, this, we're going to ask you another question here. Which of these musicians never appeared in one of the new Scooby-Doo movies? Was it Mama Cass Elliot, David Cassidy, or David Jones? It was obviously David Cassidy. David Cassidy. David Cassidy didn't appear in a new Scooby-Doo movie. Eddie? I'll agree. I have no idea. That is correct. Believe it or not, Mama Cassell and Davy Jones both did. Okay, so here, okay, here is your your clue, Eddie. Do you want to take a guess at the puzzle, or and, and this will be to tie up the match, or do you want to get another question? I'm gonna go another question. Another question. Okay, pick a star. Uh. Bottom, uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Ann, okay, Jennifer Ann at the bottom. And that's gonna be for the sixth clue here. Sixth screen, Jennifer, here's one for you. Yeah. Wh which member or members of the dirty pair were pink haired? Was it Kay, Yuri, or both of them? What? Which, which, which member or members of the dirty pair were, was, were pink haired? Kay, Yuri, or both of them? All of them. You say bo both of them both. were pink. Said, uh, uh, she said, said all of them. <laughs> you said both. 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 Tomato, both, tomato. Both, I agree you say both dirty pair members were pink haired. Uh, Eddie, do you agree or disagree? <laughs> disagree? Disagree. Yeah, that's correct. It was just Kay. Yuri actually had blue black hair. Okay, so you got yourself another clue. Here it is. Can you? <laughs> You want, to, you want to take a guess at the puzzle to tie up the match? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is it Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Is it Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Yeah, that is correct, Ed, That's Eddie. That's my name. <laughs> What's up? Okay. <laughs> I, I was hoping you'd get that one, so that's... I, I believe it or not, I, I, I wrote, I wrote these one. questions before. You're not we, supposed we, to play favorites. You're the host. No. <laughs> I was right, hoping so you'd win to show the dominance of male right, over so. female. <laughs> All right, so we're inferior tied. in yes. the game show world. So we're tied. <laughs> okay, so we're tied at one game. We won't talk. This is what it's like at our house <laughs> every day. He's walking through, and I'm like screaming at him, but he talks. He's just screaming at me. Now I'm not just hanging out, not paying rent. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you not in? Okay. We're, I'm done. Okay, Go so ahead. we're we've uh, so we have a tie match here, one game apiece. So let's go ahead and play our tiebreaker game. Uh, oops. Okay, would help if the uh, board stayed active. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do one more puzzle here. Whoever wins this one wins the game. Let me give you the... Uh, Santa, you're going to start us off. Let me give you the four free stars. And go ahead and, and pick your own. Okay. Dana, when this. Nintendo was first founded in 1889, what gaming equipment did they originally manufacture? Was it chess pieces? Playing cards or dice? I know that Nintendo is a very old gaming company. Mm -hmm. I know that they were started in Kyoto, Japan, where the headquarters are. Yeah, that sounds about right. I know because I have seen it, been the building. I'm not sure that because they still to this day make very fine decks of playing cards and dice and what was the other thing you said? And chess pieces. Yeah, I don't know about the chess business. Whatever Japanese chess is. They weren't mm -hmm. doing that in 18... Shogi. Whatever. Because mm -hmm. that's when like Tom Cruise was there as the last samurai and they didn't have any of that western stuff. <laughs> Although playing cards are still... I'm going to say... <laughs> dice. Eat. High quality dice. Made of bones of infidels. Okay. Now I'm throwing my own little spice on the back of that, but I'm pretty sure they're dice made of bones of human. Human <laughs> bones. Okay, he says uh, Nintendo originally made dice. Uh, 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 Sano, do you agree or disagree? I think I agree. 
No, believe it or not, he was actually closer with playing cards, because that's what they originally Ooh, made. But the playing cards were made of human flesh. <laughs> razored off, very paper thin, dried out in the sun. Only okay. in the summer, very summer there, they salt them, so they stay rigid. Okay. <laughs> all right, so Eddie, it's uh, your Just go. Just tell him facts, Nick. Deny it all you want. It's just a fact. Oh, sorry, can you see oh, that? that's fine. Okay. Let's go Hello. with, uh, yeah. Let's do Heather in the middle. Heather in the okay. okay, Heather in the middle. I have to go. I have to catch a flight. Bye, you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. But, uh, Jade has Jade has to catch a flight here, so I would, so uh, we're going to say goodbye to her. Uh, Jade Saxon, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, hi, my name's Jade. I'm the second Jade to play this part. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You were replaced, okay, and, Frank. Uh, well, thankfully our, thankfully, our good friend Frank here is, uh, has uh, graciously volunteered to sit in for Jade for the rest of the game here. So, uh, <laughs> but actually, we're, okay, we're back to Heather. Right. You want Heather in the center. I'm sorry, right? Okay. Uh, 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 the, the top light for Heather isn't lit, Breathe isn't effectively lit yet. Uh, so, I think we had a little, I think that's what that I, I don't that know, I see was. it lit, man. Was that the question? But, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you, but the question is for you, Heather. Here we go. Which of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wears a purple mask and uses a bow staff? Is it Leonardo, Raphael, or Donatello? Well, in case you didn't know, I was Shredder walking around earlier, so I should know this one. But I might trick you. Donatello. She, he, she says Donatello. I agree. And that is correct. Leonardo wore a blue mask and uses ninjato swords, and Raphael wears red and uses size. So, okay, so that, uh, as I said, that, that does complete uh, Heather's middle. Uh, like I said, the top star isn't, isn't officially lit yet, unless you want to go there for the clue. Let's go there. Okay, done. Okay, Heather, one more question for you here. What, Heather, what uh, computer classic sent players to Phobos to blast Spectres, Lost Souls, and Keiko Demons? Was it Duke Nukem, Doom, or Castle Wolfenstein? Can you repeat the question? Yes. What, what computer classic sent players to Phobos to blast Spectres, Lost Souls, and Caco Demons? Or Caco Demons, C-A-C-O Demons. Duke Nukem, Doom, or Castle Wolfenstein? Duke Nukem? She says Duke Nukem. Disagree. It was Doom. Okay, so that's right. So you got it, you, right? And uh, here's your first clue. Once again, this is for the match. You have a guess, or do you need another question? <clears throat> I'm going to go with another question. Dana on the bottom this time. Okay, Dana on Once the bottom. Once again, a guy knows what he likes and likes what he knows. Okay, well, <laughs> what is the question, Nick? I will let Who I owe over six months of back rent to. Okay, well, this is for, uh, just making sure, there we go, for the clue. Dana? Let's do this. Let's light this candle. Dana, let's make this easy for you. Which you know of, what I mean? Which Pegasus. Of, which of right. these is the annual Las Vegas event showcasing the newest game tech and software? Is it E3, G3, or V3? Well, since I lived in Las Vegas for over 75 years, <laughs> I moved there when I was 20, and I've been to every one of those conventions. The first one I went through, the uh, newest technology was a butter churn. That blew the minds of everyone there in Las Vegas. It was still just like a Pueblo. There were no casinos there. And I said, hey, we should open up some casinos there. And there was a weird, uh, a weird, like, crazy gangster guy. And he's like, oh, hey, oh, I'm Bugsy. Oh, I'm going to open up one of them things you're talking about because I'm here selling my butter churns. Oh, I'm like, hey, Bugsy, open up a casino, and then you're going to have a lot of people here and make a lot of money, but you probably get shot in the head like a year later for being a mobster and stuff. And he's like, oh, all right, I'll do it. Long story short... Too late. I am the, uh, I founded the uh, E3, uh, okay. which was e E3, if I may, for electronics. The second E is for electronic games. And the third E is for uh, everything else. Experience, because it took a lot of experience to make the electronics and electronic games. E3. Okay. He, okay, he says it's E3. Agreed. Right, which invented that, by yes, after all that, yes. And actually, it stands for Electronic Entertainment Expo. But, Excuse uh, which, me, <laughs> I'm the inventor of it, and I think I'm pretty sure I know what it stands for. It was for electronics and electronic games and experience, but 
agree to disagree, and I'm not paying you next month's rent now. <laughs> I'm, I'm betting on you. Dude. Fine. Okay, you know so that. Eddie, Eddie, you got you got your charisma spike, and here's your clue. Okay. Uh, once again, you can take a guess at the puzzle, or you can go for another question. Raw one. I think it's row, yeah. row, row your boat. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. So, okay. uh, Jade, center. Okay, Jade in the... Jade in the center. Frank is the new Jade. Yes, Frank, Frank is, is the new Jade. Frank is the new Jade. And sorry, I, I've changed this now. It says Deja. <laughs> it's the, I'm the anti-Jade. It's now backwards. It's the okay. mirror universe. I have like the spot. <laughs> okay. Oop, okay. <laughs> what do you got for if me? If you Nate? drop that keyboard, a satellite just blew up in space. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually connected to something. So right. a little uh, respect a little bit. Okay. All righty. Uh, where did I leave off here? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, Frank, yeah, lay it on, Jack, Jade, lay it here, on here me. Uh, here's the question: Which game system was hyped as the first 64-bit gaming system because it had two 32-bit processors running in parallel? Was it the Sega Dreamcast, the Turbo Graphics 64, or the Atari Jaguar? I think the Jaguar was a 128. So I'm going to go. What was the other one that had 64 in its name? Uh, Turbo Graphics 64. That's too easy. I'll take the first one. Sega Dreamcast, then. Okay. I'm going to go with Dreamcast. Sega! Sega Dreamcast. Sega! Everybody together. Sega! Eddie, agree or disagree? I agree. No, actually, it was the Atari Jaguar, believe it or not. Really? It was the Atari Jaguar. Okay, so, Sena, you, uh, we, go back to, uh, we go back to Frank for another question here. Mm -hmm. Okay, Frank, let's go old school for you. Oh, why? Because I'm the only one with gray hair? <laughs> Uh, look right next to you. Anyway, uh, in he's the got more hair though, so I look older. And actually, you might, if, if you've been upstairs to see uh, the uh, arcade, uh, the arcade uh, room upstairs, you might actually know this because it's up there. No, they don't let me out of this room. Ah, okay. I am well, chained anyway. to the stage. I have one of those anklets on my, and if I get too far from the stage, it beeps and security drags me back to fix <laughs> something over here. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, in the original Donkey Kong arcade game. Oh, uh, okay. wonderful segue. The, Go, the, let's keep this party rolling. The original Donkey Kong, right. The original Donkey Kong, the opening barrel screen features hammers for the players to use. Features Which, what? Features hammers for the player to use. Okay. Which of the other three screens does not have hammers? Is it the factory screen, the elevator screen, or the rivet screen? Or the pickle factory screen. The rivet screen. The rivet screen does not have uh, hammers. Sana, do, uh, Sana, do you, Sana. I'll, I'll get it right one of these days. Agree or disagree? <laughs> it unravels slowly but about. surely. Can you repeat the question for me? Yes. Uh, in the original Donkey Kong, the opening barrel screen features hammers for the player to use. Which of the other three screens does not have hammers? The factory screen, elevator screen, or rivet screen? And Frank said... I was never good enough to play that far. I believe he said the rivet I've screen. I've never seen the third screen. We're talking about a crapshoot right here is what's going on. You're going to roll them bones, human My bones made from the Nintendo was, company, since and I would, it's either going to come up snake eyes or you're going to be a winner. It's just a random guess at this point. <laughs> since I was only guessing, I just guessed quickly. You should do the same. It I, makes a better show. <laughs> I think I disagree. Disagree. Thank goodness. It was the elevator screen that doesn't have the, again, doesn't have hammers. Again, as the host, okay? you're showing a little bit of opinion on these okay, people by saying, once thank again, goodness, uh, like you want someone to win. Okay, so once again, son, this is for impartial. the match. Here is your clue. Do you have a guess at the puzzle, or do you need another question? Another question, and the top with, I think his name was Frank? Yes. Okay, yeah. Frank at the, the top. The anti-jade. Okay, and this will be for the second, second screen there. Frank, once again, we're on to you, sir. Yes. In Yu Yu Hakusho, what level computer does Batari have to fight in Game Master's territory? Uh, level 3, level 7, or level 13? Well, I was going to go with 35 million, because I've never played the game. So I'm going to go with 13, because it just sounds to... really unlucky. Okay, he says you have to... Comp uh, Fight level 13 computer. Agree or disagree? Can you repeat it? Yes, I saw in, the show. In Yu Yu Hakusho, what level computer does Matari have to fight in Game Master's Matari. territory? 
Le or Mita mm -hmm. Yes, Mita all right. Uh, level 3, level 7, or level 13, and he says level 13. I disagree. That's right, it's level 7. Okay, once again, for the match, here is your clue. Do you, have a, do you have a guess, or do you need another question? Another question. Okay. Well, I think we've got Jennifer left. Do you want, do you want her in the center or the bottom? Hold on. Here we go. Frank? I guess the middle. Yeah, the okay. middle. Okay, and this will be for the third clue. <laughs> We're just going to shoot selfies we while we We were just wait. conferring. We were just that, conferring that on the, the answer. First, that is so my, the first help. selfie ever during one of my uh, game shows, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for that. Okay, Jennifer, this question is for you. Oh, wow. Ah, I just got it now. It's, J Jennifer, are you a fan of bleach by any chance? Bleach? Yes. Under the sink? <laughs> like you've ever cleaned a sink in your you life. Just, you just broke that guy. You have right this there. army of minion that boys that clean up after you. <laughs> which which of these is not one of the states of Zanpuco? Zanpakuto. Zanpakuto can be in. I'm sorry. There we go. Which of these is one of the, not one of the three states of Zanpakuto can be in? Shin, Shikai, Bankai, or Menkai? The last one. Menkai. Agree. That's right. The third one is sealed. Okay. Let's, this is your fifth clue. Hopefully you'll get it this, well, with this. And this is for the match. Ronma one half. Is it? For, for the game and the match, is it? Yes. Ronma one half. It is. Congratulations. Woo. Thank you Ron for giving me a bleach question. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And, uh, okay. Well, Eddie, you, you did a great job here. You kept it close. Um, you did a great job, but you still lost. I'll buy you a drink. You're the first loser of the game. But, but I don't let anyone go empty-handed. You um, are. Do, do you, uh, which, of, which would you prefer, uh, Adventure Time or Street Fighter? Street or Fighter? A, or yeah. a handful well, of hockey crumbs. We've got for you uh, an Animate Miami collector's print of, of our Super Girls of Supercon in their Street Fighter. Get close. And, and I must say, sir, you are yeah. almost the and best person to play this game Skylander today. Skylander Swap Force Dog Tag. Congratulations. Thanks. And Sana, uh, I'm going to ask you to take a look at the board here and see what prize you've won. Watch the wires. Oh. You've won yourself a Hot Wheels Mad Manga set. Let me explain what that is. What we've got for you here, first off, is a set of, of four collector's Hot Wheels cars done in a, in a special anime-inspired Mad Manga style. This includes, this includes uh, two, the two tw 2012 releases in purple and red, tw the 2013 release in blue, and the recent 2014 white style. And to keep you going with manga, we've also got for you uh, the first and second... Ladies and gentlemen, John DiMaggio. <laughs> okay. Frank, you're gone. Bonus question. Well, um, what's the only actual word besides Rada that, that um, Schnitzel ever said? My man right there, Canada. <laughs> he did it. Stand up. You, you know what you win? A big fat nothing. <laughs> Woo! All right. As I he said, wins a, to keep the from Blockbuster also guy back. Yeah, you win a hug from Blockbuster guy who's been, been creeping weird, everybody uh, out all weekend. Yeah. Mantra, I have lost that dude. That dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please go accept Yeah, your go prize. ahead. Give him a hug. Oh, God. There's a lot of energy and a lot of stamina. Yeah, well, uh, yeah that's, that's, <laughs> okay. it's yeah, flu and cold go. season. Good job, fellas. Yeah. Uh, as I said, to keep the manga package going, we also have for you the first two volumes of Shonen Jump's Yu Gi Oh! And we, all, and we also have for you, uh, courtesy of our friends here at the show, an Animate Miami t-shirt. Congratulations. And you, you get a chance now to play our, our, our Blitz Bonanza. For okay, Sana, uh, as, I, as I said, you're gonna have a chance to win up to $10, uh, $10 gifts to you from our friends at the Candy Mountain Booths at Booths 800 and 802 here. Uh, Are you speaking buy, English buy you right nice, now? Huh? What, what, what'd you just say? She could, uh, she could win up to $10, uh, $10 gift certificate from our friends at Candy Mountain. Oh yes, okay. Up to. Up to ten dollars, yes. And here's how you're gonna do. Here's how you're gonna do it. Now behind the board here, we've got one more puzzle hidden. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a clue. It actually has two words to it. Okay. Now your job is before to solve that puzzle, and the stars will also be playing along here, trying to trying to solve it as well. 
Um, uh, they may be your backup for a win if you can't solve it. Here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to start up our randomizer here. As you can see, it's flashing between the six screens. I'm going to ask you in a moment to hit, that spa hit the space bar on that keyboard to stop the randomizer to uncover one of the squares here, uh, it, it, to uncover that, that clue, okay? Uh, whoop, let me start up again. Go ahead and hit, hit it and stop the board. Okay, we're going to start you off with the first, first screen It's right row, now. row, row your boat. Okay. A bold move for a bold lady. Okay. Now we're going to do this three more times, and you're going to try and hit a different square each time. If you hit one that's already been revealed, it's a wasted spin, and and you don't get it extra. You don't get the clue on your net. So let me start the randomizer here a second time, and when you're ready, go ahead and stop it. Ooh, last square. That may be helpful. Here it is. Okay. Here's your third. Okay. Here's your third clue. Oh, very good. Okay, here's the fourth screen. Okay, one more spin left to you. Three screens to get unrevealed. Very good. All right, let's uncover screen number three. Okay. Now, uh, now ac actually, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about this. Stars, if you think you know what it is, write it down on, the, on one of the cards in front of you here. Here's your time. All right, this is for a $10 gift certificate to the Candy Mountain table. Uh, what, what do you think this two-word phrase is? Hmm, well, this is very, very hard. I think it's Galaxy Angel. Is it Galaxy Angel? It is! Congratulations! Okay, Sonis, you got, you got it. Do we reveal our answers now? Yeah, uh, just for the fun of it. Well, what did everybody else have here? Because you guys were her backup. You, uh, Jennifer, what did you say? Okay, we got Galaxy Angel there. Galaxy Angel, uh, I think Heather also had it. And, uh, and uh, Dana, what did you have? I had Gay Waxy Ankle Feel. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter, but you can. Pretty sure uh, that's you what got it yourself, was. Uh, okay, Sa Sana, is that is that your real first name, Sana? No. Nope. Okay, I, let, let me get. Uh, okay, so let me let me get your. Uh, let, let me oh, let me get let me get your real name here. Oops, sorry. Oh, thanks. Okay, your real name is. Sana. There you, and there you go. T uh, you and while we fill this you moment, everyone with me. You'll see, you'll see a table with all the, with all the uh, hockey and healthy and uh, candies and such on. That's good for $10 worth of stuff at their table, okay? Congratulations, and congratu uh, congratulations on winning the prize package today. Thanks for playing here. Y'all having fun so far? As a memento, I'd like you to take my gay waxing yeah. ankle feel card, you, which shall, I shall made out give, to you. Shall we give I'm this really another try? Do we... Okay, let me. Uh, I'm looking for two more players who'd like to give it a go here. Okay, I saw this young lady raise her hand, and how about the gentleman there in the back? I'll tell you who doesn't want to play. Up on stage. Yes, you with the black. Her side. right come there. On up. Okay, so Shirley, you're, you're going to get first shot at our at this puzzle here. Let me let me first uh, reveal the four free stars. Okay, and Shirley, Shirley, go ahead and pick a star and and a, and a spot. Jennifer at the bottom. Jennifer, Jennifer Ann at the bottom. Hey okay. Can't Jennifer? say I haven't thought of it. Oops. Okay. Let me get the question. Jennifer, here, you, here we go. Question for you here. Which of the Sailor Scouts has green hair? Uranus, Neptune, or Pluto? Neptune. She says Sailor Neptune has green hair. Agree. That is correct. You have you self control of the board. Where we go next? I will take Frank in the middle. Frank, here's your question. The Philosopher's Stone, the Goblet of Fire, or the Deathly Hallows? Which of these is Edward Elric searching for in Full Metal Alchemist? I was, he said Philosopher's Stone, and I was so going down a Harry Potter path that I didn't listen to the rest of it. Say what? it again. Philosopher's Stone, Goblet of Fire, or Deathly Hallows? Which of these is Edward Elric searching for in Full Metal Alchemist? The Goblin of Pegasus. I'm going to go with a Philosopher's Stone. Okay, he says Philosopher's Stone. Sh Shirley? Repeat it one more time. Philosopher's Stone, Goblet of Fire, or Deathly Hallows? Which of these is Edward Elric searching for in Full Metal Alchemist? He I says agree. It is Philosopher's Stone. You got it. And here is your clue. 
Do you have a, do you have a guess? I'm telling you, it's row, row, row your boat. Do you have a guess, or do you no. want to? No. Okay, pick another star, then. Supa, supa. Give me a bowl of supa. You're just, I'm glad I you're blowing Frank, Frank out Frank of the water, Shirley. I will take Frank on top. Frank on top, okay. Uh, Sheen, Carl, or Cindy? Which of Jimmy Neutron's friends got their own spinoff? Jimmy Neutron, spinoff. Yep. And the choices again? Watch. Sheen, Carl, or Cindy? Cindy. He says Cindy got a spinoff. I disagree. That's right. It was Sheen, actually. The show is Planet Sheen. Okay. Still your board. Where we go? Jennifer on top. Jennifer on top. Okay. Wow. And that is for clue, number th- that's for clue number three here. Jennifer? Samurai Shampoo, Trigun, or Wolf's Reign? Which of these series could be said to be most closely deal with reverse lycanthropes? Samurai Shampoo, Trigun, or Wolf's Reign? P.S. I'm pretty sure lycanthropes means a werewolf, right? My raw, raw, but this is a reverse that. werewolf, so reverse, regular wolves the hair get reverse on the lycanthropes. Inside. You don't see it. It's like a... Yes. The last one? Wolf's Reign? She says Wolf's Reign. I agree. And that is correct. Wolf's Reign it is. Here is your clue. No, seriously. Regular wolves got bit and then turned into humans on the full moon? Presumably. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, they all have lupus. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Shirley, you have a guess right? at the puzzle? That's or the thing. Do you a werewolf another all, no. Every werewolf yeah, I'll has take lupus. Another clue. What's a okay. first werewolf? Where do you want to go? Dana in the middle. Dana in the middle. Liz. Yeah, the phrase uh, not unheard. Okay. Everybody does. I don't know what Dana? <laughs> Yes, Nick. Okay. Who I now owe seven months of back rent because I am not paying up until at least March. Right. Shirley? Dana, which of these arcade classics was the first to be converted into an Atari 2600 game? Pac Man. Well, actually, well, let me give you the answer. Was it Pac Man, Space Ultima. Invaders, or Donkey Kong? Space Invaders, Pac Man, Space Invaders, <laughs> Pegasus, Space Invaders. Space Invaders, he, he says. Repeat it one more time. Pac, uh, which of these was the first ever classic arcade game to be converted into an Atari 2600 game? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, or Donkey Kong? He said, I think, finally, Space Invaders. I agree. That is correct. Here is your clue. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Okay, Shirley, do you have a guess, or do you want another, or do you need another clue? I need another clue. Okay, pick a star then. I will take Dana at the bottom. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Everybody does get Dana at the bottom. <laughs> it takes a lot of beer, but it's fun. Yeah. Okay, Dana. Here, okay, I guess we got another video game question for you here. What? Which of these short-lived handheld game systems was made by Atari? Was it the Lynx, the Nomad, or the NG Pocket? Pac-Man. Say them again, please. Could you read them slower? Yes. Which of these short-lived... Salt sultry. Yes. Which of Act the... like you're saying, I want the subjects to be, I would like to make love with you, roommate. Because I watch you through the no, door Nikki's while you sleep. No, Nikki's mine now. See, I, I have my new... I, it what, used to uh, say Frank and Dana, but, but now I'm, I'm hot for Nikki. What the oh, hell are you talking about? Nobody I, can I, read this. No I'm one honored, can read thank this, you. by the way. What, it's okay, uh, we know. All right, yeah, again, here we Say go. Say it real slow and yes. sultry-like. Which of these short-lived handheld game systems was made by Atari? Okay. The Lynx, the Nomad, or the NG Pocket? I'm going to say, being an inventor of many video game systems mm-hmm. and being where they make uh, dice out of human bones and in Nintendo and Kyoto, Japan... <laughs> And you it's started number, that thing in Vegas. It's number one, the Lynx. She, he says the Lynx. Have I ever steered you wrong, Shirley? There was that one time when we went down to Mexico and we were arrested for three days, but I've been apologizing ever since because, baby, you're the only one for me. I'm going to agree. And believe it or not, he's right. It is the Atari <laughs> Lynx. <laughs> okay, here is the fourth clue on the board. Uncle Grandpa. Is it Uncle Grandpa? Yes, it is. Congratulations. Okay. Shirley, I love you, baby. I want my whole life dedicated for you. You know, I did all that shit, and I've been cheating on you all that time, but I love you so much. Okay, so... Uh, I love you, too. 
<laughs> so Frank, uh, that's why I keep Frank, coming back to you, baby. I don't think we get, got a chance to let you get, answer a question here, but for you, we've, we've got the uh, we've got the Adventure Time, uh, our our print of our Supergirls of Supercon. And ooh. yeah, maybe you can, Frankie, throw that other stupid and, and poster to go along away with, and we hold also that have one an and dance time with it for a little while. Congratulations. Just mix it up a little bit. And sh and Shirley, here's what we have for you. I wonder what it is. Oops, actually, actually, we got the wrong one there. <laughs> Let's try this again. Here, take the lead right in front of us. Which yes, face we got you a Hot Wheels cartoon Woo! set, and here's what, it, here's what it is. Here's what it has. Take a knee. Get down on one knee. Get down on one knee. Now look at that camera. Once again, it, once again, it's a four-piece collector set of, of specialty Hot Wheels cars. In this case, it includes the, uh, from the Max from uh, Disney's Max Steel, the Max Steel Turbo Racer, from Scooby Doo, the Mystery Machine, from the Jetsons, the Jetsons Capsule Car, and the Flintstones Flintmobile. That's actually a really cool set. Yes. And on top of that, it, it, hopefully you enjoy watching cartoons as well. We've got for you two. Two best of cartoon collections featuring classic cartoons from Superman, Casper, Betty Boop, Hansel and Gretel, and many more. And we've also got for you, for you as well, uh, Animate Miami t-shirts. Okay, there you go, congratulations. And like I said, and you're gonna play our Blitz Bonanza here real quick to, for, for a chance for your own $10 gift certificate, okay? No, no, it's, uh, no, it's it, it, for you, thank you. And actually, I almost forgot. Uh, Actually, uh, we've, got, we've also got for you a pair, a pair of the art prints as well. Okay. And I, as I said, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna play our uh, bonus game here. Quiet music. Okay. You, uh, you saw how it was Frank, played. Frank, thank you for playing. Please go. Okay. Leave Shirley. But alone. you need to don't go touch, find Don't ever touch again. her again. Okay. You saw, you saw how we played our bonus game before, oh, yeah. right? Okay. Once again, this is going to be a two. Shit down, once again, this is going to be a two-word phrase hidden Take up on knee. the board. I'll start the randomizer, and when you're ready, hit the space bar to go ahead and st stop it around the squares. Okay. Let, six screen. Here's your. There's the clue there. Okay. Start the randomizer again. And the fifth screen. Okay. Here's your third go. Right along the bottom. Very good. Here's here it is. And you have one more I like spin. how I slipped my hand in there real quick. It's a three. This, so is, a three this is a real three-way. This is a three-way. She had shake right somebody else. Right in the top center, right okay? Wipe my boogers on your palm. Okay, once again, once again, this stars. This still going star, on. Stars, I'm going to ask you to take a look at that. Once again, it's a two-word row, row, two row phrase. Row, 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 if you, if you, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about it. If stars, write down what you think the puzzle is. Okay, this is for, as I said, for, ten, for a $10 gift certificate to our friends at, at uh, Candy Mountain. What, what do you think this puzzle is? It's, once again, two word phrase. I don't know. Yep, you have any guess? Star Blazers? Is it Star Blazers? That is it! You got it! Stars, what did you think it was here? I thought it was Stinky Taco Blazers. No. <laughs> that was really close. I think everybody else. Okay, so uh, let me let me fill this in for you here. You've got yourself ten dollars worth of goodies from Candy Mountain. Congratulations! Uh, is, is, is Shirley, is that your real first name, Shirley? Okay, and your last name? You're not going to go through our answers, Nick. I'm sorry, your last what name? about our answers, Nick? Menendez. Oh God, he just ignores us. We don't Nick. matter anymore. Hey, uh, Nick, I stole thirty dollars out of your sock drawer today when I came when we drove okay, over here. There you together. go. Doesn't care. Like He's said, not got listening at all. Hey, I murdered ten dogs worth of snacks. and I bury all the corpses under <laughs> so, your bed. So. Heather, he doesn't what care. did you think the answer I was? I eat people, Nick. He doesn't <laughs> care. Well, she, she Stinky also taco. Said, Stinky, Stinky taco blazers. <laughs> okay. Dana, what did you have? I want a gun to shoot myself in the slab with slob blazers. <laughs> it doesn't really did you, darling, work, what did you have? Jade, what, just a bat. Just okay. a bat. <laughs> and Frank, uh, what did you think it was? I, I had... Uh, Dana stole my drink. <laughs> they all look the same uh, okay, up here. Well. Well, <laughs> I'd be a real big normally I'd say I'd like to thank our stars, but uh, may not apply to one of them. But no, seriously, I do want to thank I do want to thank everybody who came up to play, all y'all for be, being here, and I do want to thank our stars: Heather One Three Three Seven, Dana Snyder, 
uh, Frank sitting in for uh, Jade Saxon and Jennifer Ann. Thank you all for playing this, uh, for our first and possibly last edition of All Star Blitz here at Animate Miami. My, my name's Nick Roche. Uh, uh, how many of you here saw some of my other games this weekend? Raise your hand. Uh, did you enjoy them? I'm glad you did because I, I try and have as much fun hosting the games as you, uh, you have watching them and playing them. And I thank you for that. We'll see y'all see y'all next Drop time. Drop comments on the I just want to say I just want to say real quick. I mean this very seriously. Nick always does a wonderful job of doing all these game shows, and they're like the most fun panel to do. <laughs> and I love them. I look forward to them every time we do them, even uh, though I act and, like an a-hole. <laughs> uh, your words, not mine. We'll talk about this when we have breakfast tomorrow. And this doesn't just time. happen. He has to do a lot of homework to prep these things. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. It's, but, it's all right off the top of my head. But uh, oh yeah, that, again, I, that, that, thank you. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Frank. And I'm going to give Nick like a big round of applause. Uh, he tirelessly works for your mild amusement. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the day here at Animate Miami. I'm Nick Roche, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>